Frogs are harmless and easy to look after. They're almost the perfect pet, but there are some exceptions. This poison dart frog is one of the world's most poisonous animals. These would be far too dangerous to have in the house, wouldn't they? In captivity, it's found that the animals lose the ability to produce these poisons or toxins. It's not because of the way they're kept. It's never actually been 100% proved, but many people believe it's because of the diet change. In the wild, they will be feeding on insects, which will be toxic. They use those toxins to produce their own toxins. In captivity, they have a nice soft diet, no toxins in the diet, and so they lose the ability to produce the toxins. In South America, the Indians treasured not only the frogs, but their poison. They sculpted the dart frogs out of solid gold. The poison was a lethal magic, and extracting it could be deadly, as frogman Ian Hiller explains. Now this dart frog is one of the three dart frogs that are actually used in blowguns. And how this one was done, it wasn't quite toxic enough to use directly like the most toxic dart frogs. So what they do is they'd harvest several frogs over a couple of weeks, and then they get generally elderly, older women that were tired of living, and they go up on the hillside and have the ceremony, stoke up the fire, bring the toxins close enough to the fire so it would distill down the moisture and increase the potency of the toxin. At the same time, the, the toxin would be put into the atmosphere around the fire, and this would generally kill the tenders of the fire over during that period. The fire would then would go out, and the rest of the Indians can come back safely and harvest their now very potent toxin. Centuries later, scientist Mike Tyler extracts frog juices without killing the frog or old women. A small electrical charge stimulates the frog skin to secrete its defensive juices. Mike gets the chemicals for analysis, and the frog lives to tell the tale. They don't like it very much, you know, but um, I'm always comforted by the words of Maurice Chevalier. Someone said to him when he was in his 80s, Do you like old age? And he said, no, but the alternative is worse. <laughs> I, I couldn't have continued working on skin extracts that involved killing you know, beautiful creatures like this. Mm -hmm. 